not, I'm not to make sure like I don't say Prince William Sports or that's the way I usually end my stuff for everything. It's like it's been a presentation there's been a presentation of such and such on yeah, on whatever. ACHA hockey. ACHA hockey. It's a presentation of ACHA hockey, the George Mason Patriots and the Villain. Villanova has an actual case to make for like keeping pace with Navy and yeah. William Patterson. I've never even heard of him. Cameron Smith is nowhere to be seen. We didn't play last night. Last night. Yeah. Just, just chalk it up. Just, just, don't, just ignore us. Just sharp. Just say undisclosed reason. that he's not here. Yeah, he'd be left with, he'd be like, he'd be without uh, the Patriots. Yeah, be without their best player. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, that's a pretty good key thing.
in what could only be summed up as a lackluster season. A company of Patriots looked to defend home turf against a prowling band of Wildcats. Hello, welcome in. I'm Aiden Butler, joined along by my good partner here, Ronan Haycoop. Tonight, it's the George Mason Patriots and the Villanova Wildcats. And partner, George Mason, just a tough, tough season all around. And playing in their last home game of the season tonight, and I, I think the, I think at this point they're looking to you know give the home crowd something to be happy about. Meanwhile, Villanova nipping at the heels of the Navy midshipmen, as well as William Patterson for control of the ECHA. So I think a fair amount at stake here tonight. Yes, Aiden. As you said, George Mason has only defended, so only successfully defended the Prince William Ice Arena once this season. Coming in, got to give the home crowd something to cheer for tonight. And one thing to note, number 74, Cameron Smith, the senior, 38 points on the season, averaging 2.1 points per game out tonight. So the, the Patriots are going to need to rely on freshman number 14 tonight. Excuse me, not number 14, freshman number 15, Stephen Thomas. As Thomas not in the starting lineup as we are underway here from the Prince William Ice Center. Patriots controlling right now. Coming away with it is Quinn Alley and some quick substitutions right after that. And there he is, partner Steven Thomas. Yep. Got to so, get the scoring, in, the scoring line in there early, Aiden. As McCulley send it far ice. And a big emphasis tonight for the George Mason Patriots is getting it even into Villanova's side of the ice. The Patriots with only 17 shots on goal against the Navy Midshipmen last and night. And also not a very good power play either, Aiden. 14 or 40, and for 41 on the season, not able to convert well. And that is what's costing them in a couple games, especially against the Navy Midshipmen losing 6-1. to one. Had a couple power plays early in the first period that could have changed the tide of that game. As Villanova nearly had a crack at opening the scoring there. Instead, the Patriots bringing it back the other way. No numbers whatsoever for Pat Fergus. Instead, taken away by the, by the, by, excuse me, the Wildcats, Brendan Donahue. Donahue bounces it off for Matt Arena. As right back to the George Mason side of the ice. Corralled by goalie Max Campbell, the junior. Patriots looking to go on the offensive here. Ooh! As talk about some action right off the bat as number nine, Patrick Chapman, got a piece of a wildcat there. Yep. Exactly, and you just love to see that intensity early on, especially in such a big game as this. George Mason fell on their senior night last night to the Navy midshipmen. Definitely wants some blood back for this one. A chance added here, and I have to think the Wildcats looking to clear Matt Price bearing down. Had a shot on goal, but nothing going, and coming away with it now for the Wildcats. It's flying in there is Max Williams. Max Williams has been a big piece. Shot on goal. Shot on the goal there by Jack Marikai. Just wide left. Wildcats still well on the offensive here, and a flying saucer down the ice where it is corralled by Nick Wally. Oh, excuse me, Nick Willie. It's loose near side where it's eventually going to be collected by Mikey Carroll. And thus Wild far, Aiden, no, nothing threatening from either team thus far. You had that one shot right blocker save from Max Campbell just a little bit ago, but it was a routine save for the junior. And Campbell again, Aiden, has been terrific all season, uh, only letting in 23 goals in what has been a tough season for the uh, Ma uh, George Mason Patriots. Is this one going to send all the way around for Quinn Alley instead? Wildcats looking to take it right back. With it now is Tim Contos, Con Contos with the lone goal for the Patriots in their loss to Navy last night, and the Patriots clear. As they're looking to get down the ice in chunks here. Scrum near side. Thomas got a piece of that one. Coming away with it now. I say trying to come away. Ty Eastman, change of possession partner. It feels like every millisecond. Yeah, quite literally. A very sloppy offense from both teams to start us off. Haven't really been getting any penetration deep into the any opposing zone. Just most of this game has been won in battles in the neutral zone thus far. Shot on goal for Willie, and it's high. Nearly had a shot at it, did Stephen Thomas. Corraldo with his right hand as another 
And that and a whistle is that's gonna be out of play. The flying saucer there hit one of the support beams. I've never seen a puck hit the rafters, Aiden, in all my years of watching hockey, but <laughs> see it early tonight. I think we might see it a couple times tonight. Just looking at ne never realized until just this moment the ceiling here at uh, Prince William Ice Center, very low this side of the ice. So to reset play here, we will get a face off. Whistle blows. 16 minutes to go in the first period. Willie shot on the goal instantly, and it's deflected. And that's just showing Gonzalez, showing his class. Fernand AJ Fernandez. Uh, Fernandez, excuse me, showing his class in front of goal there. Just able, the Patriots have gotten in front of him all night, but thus far he's been able to keep it out of the goal and just made a good read on that one with the right blocker. And Willie already with the shot, lost it for a second. It looked like he just lost control of it as another high one down the ice. Bearing down on it is Matt Arena. Getting into it with... Getting into it there with Patrick Chapman as Chapman green on the ice trying to get a numbers advantage. Nearly lost it. Lucas Scharf right on his tail. As the Patriots looking to reset on offense here as Price sends it wide left around the left wing. Justin Cacciatore. As the Wildcats taking their sweet time to get some... Taking time to get their substitutions in. Sends a near side for Nathan Benner. Jack Marikai with it now. Going to send it back up top for Mikey Carroll, but the Patriots coming away with it now. Contos down, down, court, down ice, excuse me, and it's saved again by A.J. Fernandez. A.J. Fernandez coming in tonight with 629 saves on the season. Played all 60 minutes for the Wildcats in their most recent contest against the Temple Owls. Yeah, he's just been fantastic all year, Aiden, and I was just showing showing that composure, especially when the Patriots just had pretty much everybody on the ice in front of him off that shot and just not having any of it. As the Wildcats just looking to clear here, Mikey Carroll a little loose with it. It's high coming near side. Noah Ellers, and we're going to get a whistle. And it looks just like for nothing more than a substitution as Thomas is going to head off. And incoming for first action today comes Christian Barrett, the sophomore for the Wildcats. Some substitute, excuse me, for the Patriots. Substitutions for the Wildcats as well. Bottom left dot, we will get going now. And Patriots trying to get out on a run here. It's McGrath. Wants the shot, and it's high. Right over top of the head of Christian Barrett, fresh into the game. And the starting Meanwhile, fence. Another move. shot on the goal. That one high by Alley. Sent it flying over the net, and we're going to get a whistle here. And right there, Aiden, uh, number 18 for the Villanova Wildcats, Nikita Moseroff, the starting defenseman, has just been great in the early stages of this first period. Right there, stopping McGrath dead in his tracks. Looks like another substitution issue. Didn't ever got call of a penalty, so another face-off here. Patriots, for the most part, on those face-offs have lived uh, on those neutral face-offs have lived in Wildcat territory, but just unable to really properly coordinate the offense to get a clean shot. Meanwhile, the Wildcats want to go quickly here. Andre Berglund shot on the goal and hits the ice hard. Bringing it back the other way for the Wildcats is McCulley. Sends it left side for Zintler. Excuse me, for Chapman. Read the wrong name there. Patrick Chapman had it. As the Patriots will look to reset on offense here. Patriots are unable to find an alley of any sort thus far against that Wildcat defense. Yep, Aiden and just going over the way exactly how this season has gone for the Patriots. An excellent stick save there by Max Campbell. A breakaway down the other end, but just nothing comes of it. The Patriots, unless they can get a good breakaway, haven't had much offense and haven't been able to keep possession in the offensive end thus far this season and thus far tonight. Well, again, you talk about possession changing every millisecond. As fighting for it. Goal. Down on the Patriot end, and, and he scores. 
Number six, Jimmy Zinter, just into the game. Excuse me, not Zinter. That was Matt Balzerati of the Wildcats first into the game. And they'll draw first blood from the looks of it. And just composure in front of goal there, Aiden, by number six, Matt Balzerati. Just able to, comes up off the stick, just able to take his left hand, place it down, and put it on, on the right-hand corner around Campbell. Just excellent piece of offense there from the Wildcats. So already an inauspicious start for the Patriots as we get the faceoff here. 12.53 remaining in the first period. The Wildcats lead at 1 nothing. Just shy of an icing call. Coming away with it now for the pay. Coming away with it there was Quinn Alley off the faceoff. Has it right behind the net. And just sloppy there. You could tell the George, uh, George Mason Patriots are playing nervous right now, Aiden, especially after that early goal. And Balzerati, just off of making that goal, you can see hounding him on defense as he will check back at, as he will check out now. As I can't tell if that was a shot or a pass or not, but it, whether or not it was wide of the goal. And the Wildcats looking to get right back at it, right down near the goal. On, the, on an attempted shot, I believe, was Tim Arena. Michael Vogel slaps it around the far, uh, the far side. Right wing with it now is Matt Arena. Patriots come away with it. And just Try, check that. Matt Arena takes it right back. Stick on the ground as Arena got pounded against the wall by Willie. And just the Patriots unable to get out of their own end. And we said that was going to be a big point of emphasis for the Patriots if they wanted to come out with a win today, yeah. but already... Not going according to plan. They trail one nothing with 11 and a half to go in the first period. As Willie looking to finally get it onto the Wildcat end of the ice and right into the chest of Michael Vogel. And the Wildcats back on the offensive. As Chapman hits the wall hard. Max Williams sends it up top. Controlling now is Mikey Carroll. Had it deflected. Marikai looking to send it back around. The Wildcats will reset. And again, partner, just not a lot of alleys open. As Willie, I don't know if he was looking for a shot or not, but right into the chest again of Michael Vogel. And that's just frustration on offense from Willie there. Didn't, didn't have the lane to get through on the break and just decided, hey, I'm just going to rip a stroke. Rip a wrist shot right in the middle of his chest, but here they go. Steven Thomas looking and just missed. Matt Arena. Excuse me, not Matt Arena. That was Pat Fergus of the Patriots he was looking for. And right back onto the Patriot end. The Wildcats have lived here for the most part this game. Trapped in the corner is Colin Nemschik, and the Patriots come away with it now. Steven Thomas. Again, the Patriots just trying to retain possession here for more than a few seconds. And just haven't been able to in this entire first period. And you could just see why this season has been difficult for him, just unable to string passes together and get through the neutral zone. As Whippet all the way around the goal, up ahead to Thomas, now to McCulley. McCulley trying to make something happen through the legs of a Wildcat. And Villanova trying to go back the other way with it, chasing it down is... Stepan Gorolenkov. And this one's deflected high and out of play. Bounces right into the Patriot bench. And just Villanova just showing no, no break at all, Aiden, in this defense. Don't even look nervous when the Patriots are flying down the floor. And if your coach, the coaching, the George Mason Patriots tonight, you desperately need to get something going here on offense. As, uh, head coach Steve Hycheck just needs to get something going here through Stephen Thompson and guys like Lucas Scharf, 18 points on the season. It just hasn't been a good year, but you need to keep going. Can't keep dwelling on the past, Aiden. You've got to move towards the future. As we get going again, Ty Eastman trying to make something happen for Villanova. It's a scrum for the puck right against the near wall. All sorts of bodies getting after it, and Willie takes it out of the scrum for the Patriots. Chapman trying to bring it back the other way, deflected by Donahue of the Wildcats. Gorlenkov looking to clear it. Instead, it's taken by Willie, who sends it high and whipping it all the way around. 
Right wing, left wing. Tim Arena, send it into Patriot territory. Bearing down on the puck though is Matt Arena. And partner, just a lot of individual hustle from singular yep. Wildcats has just given the Patriots fits thus far. Exactly, not e until you get into their own end. We'll, we'll see, take a second here. <laughs> and off that one from Hernandez, good save off the left side. But you just, exactly, and it's just been individual efforts from the Wildcats that have proved enough to disrupt the Patriots' offense. As eight minutes to go here in the first period, the Wildcats still lead 1 0. Contos fighting for it. Again, he had the one goal and the loss to Navy as Wildcats nearly a shot at it there. Turn and shoot for Tim Arena, but wide left. And a beautiful save there from uh, Max Campbell, again bailing out the Patriots. As looking to push the issue was Tim Arena once again. The Patriots again stop that effort. Max Williams, he wants a piece of this action and just barely saved Great reaction there from the goalie of George Mason, Max Campbell. As Stephen Thomas looking to make something happen. Instead, sends it right to Mikey Carroll. Max Williams slaps it against the near wall. As fresh off the check-in, just climbs out of the bench and it's right at his feet. Patrick Chapman as sends it down ice. And Villanova just looks like the more aggressive team tonight, Aiden. You could just see they're fighting for every stolen hit. Stolen away and nearly. What a save by Hernandez on the shot there. Pat Fergus nearly got the Patriots on the board as maybe some friendly fire there. Willie send it flying right into his own bench. Yep, the Villanova Wildcats just gifted the Patriots a chance there and just bailed out again by A.J. Fernandez. Excellent save. So resume play here. And again, Villanova has just lived in Patriot territory for the most part in this first period. 6.35 to go. Bringing it down ice. Andre Berglund lost it. Instead corralled by Nemchik. There's a fight for it. And Jude Buckholtz coming out of the scrum. Trying to chase it down is Scharf. As Price gonna send it around the right wing behind the goal it is. Collected the Patriots just trying to press on defense with the puck in Wildcat territory. It just hasn't been there. Exactly, Aiden. I mean, at this point the Wildcats just need to start paying the Patriots rent. Willie with the collection. Give it to Allie. Willie back with it now. Trying to make something happen. Instead, air mails it to Donahue. Oh, Ellers is chasing it down now. Is Allie. McGrath with it near side. And again, just Wildcats making it difficult for the Patriots to even get off the, to even get out of their own end of the ice. And Valzerati is going to send it up top. Shot on the goal, and it's high. On the shot from Brian Donahue. Patriots just trying to clear. And again, Aiden, just the Patriots unable to keep it out of their own end for much longer. It's just, just a constant barrage of assault from the Wildcats. Patriots looking for numbers, and that one's deflected on the shot there from Gorolenkov. You almost want to see that go across your body there, Aiden, and go for the backhand. Matt Arena looking to get it to Vogel instead. And maybe wise decision by Campbell. He's going to fall on it there. Yeah. Thomas just wanted him to fall out there, get the boys a little bit of a rest. It's just been an onslaught from the Villanova Wildcats thus far. And number 14, Tim Arena, wearing that A on his chest for a reason. Just has been all over the ice every shift tonight. 
So four and a half to go here in the first period. The Wildcats still lead at one nothing, and shots on the goal are pretty even thus far, partner. Yep. And a goal for the Wildcats as Fergus wants a piece of someone. Not sure what was there. Goal. Oh. As you hear from the George Mason pep band there, it looked like a goal. It looks like. I mean, I thought goal. it was goalie interference, Aiden. One of the ref, I think the referees disagreed. One motion for goalie interference. So then a massive break there for the Patriots then. And only five seconds gone by. I'm, I'm looking to see what we got shots on the goal yeah. so far. That was Villanova's fifth. Excuse me, they're sixth. And they added it there. The ref, ref, officiating crew is still talking there at center ice. The official's talking to number 14, Tim Arena. Been goalie interference. And even after the goal, you could see uh, number t 13 coming over the top, over the backside of Campbell there. So Ferguson, and that's going to land him in the penalty box. Yeah. Fergus obviously not happy with your goal and getting hit. That's one of the uns unwritten rules of uh, hockey here, Aiden. But still, 2-0. The officiating crew is going over it. 4.25 to go. Would make it a 2 nothing Villanova advantage. I mean, I think an instant replay here, Aiden, would really, <laughs> really change this call. Fergus, that first penalty on the evening by a Patriots. And just not something you want to see Fergus wearing the A, and it, you just got to come out of here. You just went two, down 2-0, two four minutes left in the first period, and now your boys are going to have to uh, p kill a penalty to close into the locker room for the first intermission. Just not ideally for the George Mason Patriots. As maybe still some conversation yep. with the officials now as it looks like they're going over to speak with. Steve Hijack, yeah, he's Patriot pleading his case. Coaching staff. And you're just looking over the bench of the Patriots, Aiden. They just look gassed. And again, you talk about the Patriots being without uh, number 74, Cam Smith, a big part of this team. Again, couldn't, could not, could not play tonight, could not play last night in senior night either. Instead, he will be honored. In the George Mason charity game, George Mason Green versus Gold alumni game, benefiting the MS Society of America. That will be played Sunday, March 20th, 2022 at 1.40 p.m. right here at the Prince William Iceplex. More information and details to follow. So it looks like the goal will stand, Aiden, for Arena. So the goal will stand. And Burgess is in there. I'm not sure how long he's going to be in the sin bin tonight. And fitting that Tim Arena with that goal, he leads this Wildcat team coming had 14 on the season coming into tonight. Maybe that 15 now. Yeah. Patriots desperately need something on the on the offensive here. Look at this, Aiden. And nearly on the break, nearly got, nearly had an easy shot on it. Did Yilfon of the Wildcats. Instead, Buckholtz trying to get something going on offense. Jeez. And just some great hustle from Villanova. It feels like every time, because the Patriots, they're having issues just getting their offense set up. They're getting guys on the offensive side, but they can't get their offense set. No, not at all, Aiden. They just have not had any possession in the offensive end thus far, and Villanova has had a really easy night. Player down here on that near side, and I'm not sure if you could see it, right up against the boards, oh yeah, off right. that hit. Appears to be an injured Wildcat, and it's number 28, Nathan Benner. He seems to have popped right back up, mo motioning the trainer back off the ice. Nathan Benner has appeared in 19 games this season. Has yet to score a goal. It does have five assists. So another, another Patriot. Just got five minutes for boarding, Aiden. What did you call it, the sin bin? Yeah. So Carol Mikey 
at the top of the point for the Wildcats. So now five on four for the Villanova Wildcats here. Major opportunity here with the power play for the Wildcats. Carol Mikey will reset it for the Wildcats. Corralling it is Max Williams. Max Williams going to send it up top for Mikey Carroll. Sends it to his right. Shot on the goal from Gorolenkov. It's wide right. And the Patriots will clear. And this is it could be a big confidence boost here. For the, Mesa, uh, for the George Mason Patriots here. In four minutes left on this penalty kill. At home th this season, they are 0-4 in the penalty kill. Have given up a goal every time they've given up a penalty and at home this season. And it's just not looking good, especially that being down 2-0 in the late stages of this first period. So the Patri so excuse me, the Wildcats look like they were trying to get out in front of the Patriot defense, but nothing going. There's a scrum for it in the left corner. Morozov at the top of the point now. He'll send it right for Arena. Back up top for Morozov. As three, under three and a half to go in the penalty time. Shot on the goal. Matt Balzarati, I believe, had one goal earlier to make to open the scoring here, but square in the chest of Max Campbell. Yep. And this power play lineup for Villanova is just a lot of very good offensive players, as you would expect, Aiden. And with three minutes and 20, excuse me, 153 left, 325 left in this power play, they're going to be able to come out of the first intermission hungry for a goal. Mattery has it off a faceoff, and Balzarati gets bodied against the window by Tim Contos. As chasing it down is Morozov. I'm going to turn the tide back towards the Wildcats here. Far side, the Wildcats looking to go quickly here. Second to send it around the left where it's collected by Eastman. And the point for Morozov. Eastman, he wants the shot. He'll take it high and out of play. Yep, and again, Aiden, just a poor shot there. But Max Campbell has just really kept this team in it thus far. I mean, down only 2-0 as we keep mentioning in this first period. It could have been 3 or 4 without Max Campbell between the sticks. So 117 to go in the first period. Here comes the faceoff. Mac Wh Max Williams controls it. Mikey Carroll at point for the Wildcats. Williams with it. He wants the shot. He's going to send it right for Morozov, nearly lost it. Gorolenkov, one minute to go in the first period. The Wildcats lead 2-0. Max Williams wanted the shot. Instead, no one wanted the pass. No one was home. Max Williams up top for Mikey Carroll. Inside, looking for the shot. Is anyone for the Wildcats? There's a scrum for it. Shot on the goal, and it's there. Steven Gorolenkov scores. And just a beautiful piece of play there from the Villanova, or from Villanova, my apologies there. And just able to get it done again, 0 for 5 now on the season are the Patriots in the penalty kill at home. And just 40.2 seconds left with the five minute major. Just not what you like to see, Aiden. So the Wildcats do, do cash in on the power play. And again, makes it a 3 nothing advantage after only the first period, yikes. And Aiden, just, that's just shooting yourself in the foot right there, and especially with the five-minute major. You're still down five four. You're still down five to four for the next two minutes. So the Wildcats, who knows? 28 seconds left, still looking to make something happen. I'll tell you one thing, Aiden. They're just they're definitely not content to sit back and wait for this period to end. George, yeah, and George Mason, you're looking for anything at this point, just something positive to take into the next period. 13 seconds to go. Villanova in scoring position here. Morozov has it at the top. Seven seconds to go. Six seconds. He's going to send it for Arena. Nearly had the shot on it was Balzarati. Three seconds, point under one second, and that will do it for the first period. And the Wildcats, dominant. 
I mean, you can see the frustration there starting to boil over from number 28, Will McGrath of the Patriots. You can see him slamming his stick as he goes off the ice. Definitely a frustrating first period for the George Mason Patriots, Aiden, and that's, that's about as plainly as you can put it. There's not too much more to be said. So one period in the books between the Wildcats and the Patriots. So something of, some, something of note there, the Wildcats, eight shots on the goal in that first period. The Patriots managed five, but again, just could not get it. Yeah. Could, well, again, Villanova had all kind, had like a well-oiled machine on offense. If, if the shot wasn't there, they were taking it back out, resetting, and just looking for any lane possible. The Patriots, they can't get anyone down the ice soon enough to set their offense before it's already being disrupted by Villanova. Exactly, and then if you want to look at that five shots from George Mason, only one truly tested A.J. Fernandez between the t between the sticks. And you just got to think going into the second period, uh, Coach Steve Hijacks has got to th think up ways that the George Mason Patriots can be a threat in the offensive end. Well, ten minutes to go in remaining in between the first and second period. So... So, quick little mention, and we'll step aside here. Game day promotion for the fans. During the first two periods of tonight's game, tweet, post, or comment. Hashtag GMU Hockey on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, and tag them in the post to be entered to win a free Mason Hockey t-shirt. Must be following GMU Ice Hockey and social media accounts so they can message you if you win. It will be announced on stream and on GMU Hockey socials during the third period, so stay tuned. Free, free t-shirt. No, no, no. I'll take I, one. I like free stuff. But... As it stands now, Villanova in control, I'd say. Up 3-0 over the George Mason Patriots at the end of the first period. I'm Aiden Butler. He's Ronan Haku. We'll step aside and we'll be back with more in the second period between George Mason and Villanova.
Yeah, my headset is freezing. <laughs> All right, so what are we doing when we start it up? So welcome back for second period of action between the George Mason Patriots and the Villanova Wildcats. And partner, just almost picture perfect first period if you're Villanova. Exactly, and just the intensity on both ends, keeping the Patriots out of their end. And basically, and you got to think, the Villanova, the Villanova Wildcats might have to start paying the George Mason uh, rent because they are staying in their end. They're basically living in it, aid, and it's just been crazy to see the Villanova uh, Wildcats, especially guys like number six, Matt Balzerati, and number 14, Tim Arena, have just been all over the ice all night for him. And the George Mason, a positive to take away, has been McGrath here. You did have a 10-minute misconduct penalty on your captain, and then, of course, the five-minute major here. So we will start the second period down four. Still, or me, down still, one four. Th still 130 remaining on the power play for Villanova. But George Mason, they had, like, again, still whole 40 minutes of hockey to be played, like, plenty of time. Exactly, Aiden. There's, there, plen and any, anything can happen in sports. I keep bringing that up, Aiden, but anything can happen on the ice. I say it all the time, yet people don't believe me. <laughs> exactly, Aiden. And so, almost exactly right where we left off, Villanova in the George Mason side of the ice. as Tim Arena had it for a moment. Chapman looking to clear it for the Patriots. Fighting him for it is Balzerati, and Balzerati not afraid to stick his nose in there as we've seen all night. Definitely not, Aiden. And Chapman has just been fantastic for the uh, Georgia Mason Patriots, and I just trying to get something on, just trying to clear the ball out, or puck, excuse me, whenever he can. And it just doesn't seem like, the, like he's been able to do enough for the Patriots thus far. So Ty Eastman had it. Morozov looking to reset and to send it in for Tim Arena. We're going to get a whistle here. Just again from Max Campbell. Excellent glove save there. Able to keep it out of the net. And just again, the Wildcats bearing down on the Patriots early here in this power play with 21 seconds left. So 18.49 to go in the second period. Again, still not even halfway through this contest here. Kashiator surveying his options. Going to send it right for Donahue. Donahue for Williams. Williams wanted down low for somebody. And the Wildcats have done a great job backpedaling. Whenever the Patriots have, have tried to clear, Wildcats have been, have been right there to get it right back. And it looks like going to get an icing call here. Yep, so this, this, this could be key here for, for the Patriots here, Aiden. You're going to get a, a, excuse me, a face off in the offensive zone. You can win this and try to get some pressure on the Villanova Wildcats coming out of the second period. Interested to see how Steve Hijack has made some readjustments on offense and see what they could do here coming out, in the, out of the power play. So the power play ends finally for the George Mason Patriots. Power play belonged to the Wildcats. The Patriots finally get out of it. For the Wildcats, control off the faceoff. Right back into Patriot territory. As Carroll had it for a moment, sends it down low for Marecki. And sends it into a regiment of Patriots, says, trying to get back on the offensive now. As Nick Willie finally sprung from the sin bin. Contos trying to dribble it off the left glass. Oh, nearly wanted the spin and shoot did McGrath. Just misread it there. Chasing it down is Chapman. Chapman gets knocked on his rear by Max Williams after that. And Chapman returns the favor. Yeah, just got to love that intensity from the Patriots coming out of the locker room. You just got to match what Villanova's giving you right there and just love to see it there by number, or no, by number nine, Chapman. And speaking of matching that factor, as Willie was right in there against Tom Lomzak, is going to get a whistle here. Just again, the George Mason bench has been a favorite to the puck thus far, Aiden. We got four that have gone in there thus far.
So, so just the face off will be center ice, just the way we started. 17.09 to go in the second period. The Wildcats with that 3 0 lead as they control, as they have it in Patriot territory. Off the face off shot on goal, and a n shot on goal there by Carroll. Excuse me, not Carroll. That was number 13, David Gilfalon, but nothing there. Carroll wanted to send it inside for Matt Arena, but a little too strong. And taking it away is Stephen Thomas. Stephen Thomas going to flip it down ice, but right there is Tom Limzak. And the Wildcats want to go the other way. The Wildcats just look so crisp on offense. Matt tonight, Arena Aiden. shot on goal, and it's wide right. David Gilvalon, rough collision against it, and a shot by Carroll. That one's wide left. Fresh in John Capillo. And it's poked downfield by Noah Ellers. He'll check out. Almost instantly, the Wildcats trying to get it in the middle of the Patriots substitution, but nothing going. As Chapman back in, he's been a fire for this Patriot team. As he knocks over a Wildcat. And an excellent defensive effort there by John Capola there. An excellent effort by Chapman on the offensive end. Just unable to get it go, going to the last man. Nemshig wanted to shoot it, but Puck just slipped right past him. As Chapman collects it, dribbles it off the wall for Buckholes. Instead, it's stolen away. And Chapman just, yeah, got, got the cover up there. Chapman just looks gassed. Aiden, an exceedingly long shift to start off this second period. Max Campbell, a wise decision to just fall on it there. And the Patriots still not able to get a shot on goal. Aiden, it's going to be key for them going into these last two periods. Aiden, is going to be winning those individual battles. We have seen guys like Max Chapman and Willie do it fantastically tonight. But if, if you're going to win this game, you've got to be able to do it on every single player who steps on the ice. As Kashiator was looking, I believe he was looking for Ty Eastman right off the faceoff for the quick goal. Instead, Patriots trying to get something going here. Contos trying to corral it through his legs, taken away for the moment by Balzarati. And again, another Balzerati. excellent play by Donahue Ooh. on the defensive end, setting this Juked up on the offensive end. Juked a man out of his skates, trying to end through the legs of Ellers. The Patriots had perfect opportunity to score there. You can get yeah. the words out of my mouth. There's a high shot on goal there by Balzerati. Deflects off the window. Yeah, and just divine intervention there from the Patriots on defense. Just able to finally give Max Campbell a break. As Contos took some contact there from Donahue. Up ahead now for Ty Eastman. One of the shot behind the back pass for Balzerotti. And nice save there from Campbell. And just excellent vision there by number 27, Stefan Gorlyankov. Just able to find Balzerotti on that backhand and almost got it over the right shoulder of Max Campbell. But Ma Campbell said not today, not right now. So 14.44 to go in the second period. Wildcats still lead at 3-0. And the Wildcats just being able to win a lot of face-offs in the offensive end, keeping possession deep inside the Patriots' territory. As Willie bodies Nathan Benner against the wall. Take the fuck out of there. Chapman deflects it off the wall. McCulley, McCulley just missed it there. Just puck outraced him. Instead, the Wildcats going to bring it right back down. In these last few minutes, Aiden, the Patriots Max Williams shot on goal wide right. Dude, we finished that thought. In the last couple minutes, Aiden, the Patriots have been able to get some offensive movement here off the break, but again, just haven't been able to keep, keep possession of it in the offensive end. Right here, you see Price flying down the ice. And Vogel trying to get it out of there. Gets it up ahead to Max Williams. Max Williams trying to chase it down. Nearly, Willie nearly had it. Instead, Benner and Willie just slams Benner against the wall, trying to clear it out of the Patriots. We're probably going to send it up. We're right into the waiting stick of Noah Ellers. As Chapman trying to track it down in the right corner, meets contact. Excuse me. Tim Arena trying to chase it down. That one deflected, that one deflected by Thomas. One of the shot was Capullo wanted the shot. And just Tim. again, a lengthy possession for the Wildcats deep in pa the Patriots' end, but still haven't been able to get much offense rolling off these possession. Morozov wanted the shot. It's not there. 
Tracking it down is John Capullo. Now chasing after it is David Gillifon. Sends it to Matt Arena. And again, the and again, Villanova being able to live on the Patriot end and get their offense set has led to these long possessions. 12:45 and counting in the second period. As Nova, as Villanova nearly had a shot there, and looks like Nick Willie will clear, and it looks like icing. Yep, so just take a second there to get the guys off the ice. Just smart play there by Willie. And just you got to switch something around here if you're Steve Hijack. Because you cannot continue to just have this uh, keep going down the ice. You had a couple of individual efforts by Chapman, Willie, and Price down the ice. But other than that, you haven't had much offense in the second period. And off of that, Pat Fergus finally sprung from the sin bin. Yep. After that 10-minute misconduct. Seems like forever ago, Aiden. As again, more action on the Patriot defensive side of things. That one deflected. Looked like McGrath wanted to send it across ice, but nothing there. There's a scrum for it right on the doorstep of the Patriots. Shot on goal. It's deflected. What a save there from Max Campbell using the right blocker. She made it look easy. Andre Berglund with the shot. Another shot on goal. That time by Colin Nemschik. And again, another possession here. The Patriots just unable to get around. Just excellent puck movement here from the Villanova Wildcats to start off the second period and into the first period too as well, Aiden. So McGrath clears it. No icing. Got to get some of the guys off the ice. Brendan Donahue sends it right back down to his buddies. Oh, sorry, that one clanks hard off the backside. Mikey Carroll, whistle. Some extra pushing and shoving, but nothing too major. I mean, and then we keep talking about the lack of offense in the onslaught of offense on both of these ends. And you can just see Fernandez here hasn't faced a shot tonight, or excuse me, in this period, only five tonight. And you're just looking at these Villanova Wildcats and you're and you just got look at them move the puck around. And it just looks a different level. It just looks crisp tonight. When they put on the skates aid and they came to win this game. And the George Mason Patriots and Steve Hijack gotta come up with something in order to keep the Villanova Wildcats from doing just that. So 11.27 to go in the third period. And the, pa and the Patriots still just can't get out in transition to do anything as Buckholz just levels Tom Jack against the near window. As Balls arrive with an opportunity, but Eller shuts that down in an instant. And this press from the Villanova Wildcats is just impenetrable, Aiden, impenetrable. As Ali missed Buckholz there, so right back possession of the Wildcats it goes. Ty Eastman looking for Balzarati. Balzarati does have it. Eller's looking to shut him down. Right on the doorstep of the Patriots. Cleared in good order. And a good poke check there from right Campbell to keep it out of his own net. Now coming the other way is Barrett. Contos use it for good measure. Oh, one of the turn and shoot did Barrett. Couldn't get, couldn't get it. Deflected there by, by a Jay Fernandez. Alley. Send it to the, send it. Far side for Thomas. One of the few times this period the Wildcats have been on the defensive end. Near if the Patriots could just begin to uh, build momentum, made this could start to change here. I mean, we still got 30 minutes of ice time left. So mass substitution for the Wildcats. So Patriots decide to pounce. That one deflected off the stick of McCulley and taken away by Capullo. It's a race for it. Mirakai right on the doorstep and locked down by Campbell. And Campbell, that, that one came off the skate of his own defender right back towards his own goal. And Max Campbell, just Johnny on the spot, was able to keep that out. So 9.56 to go in the second period. Wildcats again still, claim, still holding on to, in, still well in control with that 3-0 lead. And Barner, we talked at the very outset of the broadcast an issue, a glaring issue for the Patriots, and it was just you know getting on offense. And what, what, what do you always say, partner? One of my favorite sayings that you use in these is "sound like a broken record." Well, you're going to hear a, you, that, that, there's no fixing that record. It's broken beyond repair. But we're going to keep say, we're going to keep saying it till the end of this game. But 
Pages have only managed five shots on the goal against Villanova's 14. So, and, and I think that also just comes down to missing Cameron Smith 74, Aiden. It just hasn't been a great night from Stephen Thomas, the freshman. But you got to look to the future if you're the George Mason Patriots, especially especially going in. You got a good young lineup here, a couple of sophomores and freshmen on this team. They're do, playing some nif- significant minutes tonight. The Patriots finally do get at some. Some duelsmanship there between P.G. Wack. Got shot on the goal by Buckholes, but it's wide. Max Williams looking to put it back on the offensive end for the Wildcats, but nothing but Patriots down there as another substitution. The Patriots continuing to get some momentum here. Barrett off the dribble off the wall, but instead, I too, Patriots, that one nearly flipped. I thought we were going to get another puck in the Mason bench. Yeah. As Buckholes with the deflection, Contos looking for the opportunity, shot on the goal, he scores! And just an excellent effort there by Barrett, able to keep the puck inside the offensive oh, offensive end, excuse me, and just a beautiful shot there, and brings it to three to one, cuts the lead to two, and that's exactly what you want to see from the George Mason Patriots, taking advantage of that momentum that they've caught in these last few minutes, closing out this second period here, and just way to get it done. So Tim Contos, as we mentioned earlier, with the lone goal for the Patriots in their loss to Navy last night, Contos, that's his 11th goal of the season. And much needed. And all of a sudden, just a shot in the arm for the Patriot faithful in this building. Yep. And Aiden, you just love to see that now. You got the Villanova Wildcats on their heels a little bit. And there, just a nervous play there by number 20 of the Villanova Wildcats. Brendan Donahue just flipping it up, trying to hit it off the boards, and it's going to catch the net. So now the Patriots get it right back in potential scoring position. Yep. And especially well, with, we'll get it right back. you got to win the faceoff And especially first. with your starting center, Fergus, back on the ice. There it goes, winning the faceoff there. They haven't been able to win a lot, and I think that's due to Fergus being in that bin for a 10-minute misconduct penalty, and I think that could be attributed to this one-sidedness of this game in the early first period. As Ellers took a shot and they go wide off the back. Two sticks on it. There's a broken stick. Who lost the stick? That is a singular stick. <laughs> who lost the stick? I didn't, I didn't even see who's. Number 16, Aiden, of the Villanova Wildcats. Yeah, Justin Gessitor bro- lost his stick, so he finally goes over to the bench as Michael Vogel will take his place. Shot on the goal from Vogel right off the bat. And and again, and again, Campbell, it, I'd attribute it not, not to poor play by Campbell in that first period, but just che- it, but just cheap execution by a little, maybe a little just just bit of bad luck on his end. Yeah, I think I think it's a combination of the both, Aiden. I mean, you you got to give the credit to the Villanova Wildcats. I mean, they deserve those goals. They fought hard and earned it. It's not like you're just you know it's just they're get, getting gifted goals. It's just they've been able to work hard very this season. Or excuse me, tonight and this season, obviously, as their record shows. But as we come into the second period here, the, Mesa, the George Mason Patriots have had a little bit of life injected back into them. So down in Patriot territory, all Patriots around that puck with the exception of one Wildcat. Buckholes bring it back up ice, hit the, hit the window hard, courtesy of one Colin Nemchik. If the Patriots can press a little bit more in those situations like you just saw, you maybe can claw their way right back into this game. As Scharf with the control now, Buckholes taps it to the ice. Fighting two Wildcats gets body. Two Wildcats on the turf. Buckholes still standing. Slams another man against the wall. Willie with it now trying to send it back up top for a potential shot. McGrath, he wants to bring it around. I think Price was looking for the turn and shoot, but nothing there. As McGrath got bodied against the wall. Yep. And you love to see that, Aiden. In this second period, this, I think attributed a little bit more of their success has been the aggressiveness from the Patriots. And they've just been able to give out more than they have gotten back. And you see here a, a mix-up on the substitutions here. And a wide-range shot for a goal. Fighting for it. Our collective. And a whistle. And some extracurricular activity as well. Mikey Carroll getting into it with Christian Barrett. Yeah, Barrett. Or excuse me, Campbell wasn't happy at all with Barrett's uh, slash into the goalie's glove there as he went to cover it up was Fernandez. 
And you just got to think there, a little bit of a miscue here from the Villanova bench. You could see two guys came out, or excuse me, three guys came out, one came in. So there was three guys on the ice, and then you see coming in to the offensive end were the Patriots. And you could see just the frustration there from the coaching staff of the Villanova Wildcats. Is here you're up 3-2 to two in the second period. You just gave up a goal. You definitely don't want to give up a goal on a coaching mistake like that. Oh, and that one intercepted by Vazerati, but taking it right back is McGrath. Potential opportunity here for Garrett. Nothing going. He hits the ice. Some skirmish for it. 6.20 to go in the second period. The Patriots trail the Wildcats 1-3. to three. Alley chasing it down. Ellers. Looked like he tried again instead of bounced off his stick. Balzerati looking for the shot. And what a save by Campbell. On the shot there for the Wildcats was Eastman and a whistle blows. I think he just left it wide there, Aiden. Yeah, he just, uh, number 22 of the Wildcats, Ty Eastman there, just wide open net, just put it wide, was unable to put it on frame. Looked like, I thought the same thing, Aiden, it looked like it came almost came off the skate of Campbell, but certainly not, as the as the scoreboard indicates, it's definitely, definitely just went wide off the boards. And again, Wildcats worked hard for the three goals that they do have, but Campbell has also come up clutch more than a, more than his fair share of times. Oh, 100%, Aiden. And you can, and partner, if you look here, it looks like the Patriots have done a much better job in the second period of controlling off the face-offs. I, they've been able to get set. Yeah. They've been able to communicate with one another. And as you see right here, actually execute. Yeah, I and mean, I think that's Fergus coming back. Who He has the puck just with a shot there. And uh, Fergus, the starting captain for this Patriots team here, starting at center, just was off the ice for so long. It's just something that I think, I think it definitely has something to do with the fact that they weren't able to win any face-offs in his absence. So scrum for it on the far side. Fergus looking to come out of it. Instead, Stephen Thomas in the thick of it as that one flies. Willie chasing it down. And so somebody on the Mason bench and just got a little hand to that one. So deflected it from staying in that Patriot bench. They should put up, a they should, they should put up some. They, look, they, should, they just need to fill it in. They fill it in with some glass there. I know it's so they can like easily just climb onto the ice, but maybe maybe do something. <laughs> I think it's just bad someone's luck at this point. Someone's going to get hit. So the Wildcats look trying to control off the faceoff, looking to set their offense. Puck down in the right wing. I don't know if that was a shot or, or if uh, Max Williams was looking for Jack Marikai. Nevertheless, it's deflected. Tom Jack nearly, nearly lost it out through his legs, but down behind the goal now. Max Williams up top for Carroll. Looked like a shot on the goal there, but better to be lucky than good, I guess, as another brawl for it as number 76, Lucas Sharp, wanted a piece of the Wildcat there. Max Williams looking to, as he gets bodied against the wall, shot on the goal from Williams. It's deflected by a Patriot. Looking to clear. Buckholes bringing it back the other way. Two on two for the Patriots. Buckholes trying to take it far side of the ice. Looks like he wants the, as he got decked by Tom Jack. That's a delayed penalty there, Aiden. As Willie with it now. Looking, shot on the goal, deflected. And here comes the whistle. I'm not sure what the call is going to be, if it was an illegal hit or if we're going to get a uh, boarding for a major five. Don't think it was as a rough of his hit as we saw in the first period, but definitely going to have to wait for the officiating crew. So the first Wildcat to be sent to the penalty box. It looks like it's going to be a minor penalty against so, Liam Tomjak. So first power play opportunity on the evening for George Mason. And again, Aiden, for the power play, they have not scored a power play at home, and this could be an excellent opportunity for them to score their first home power play. You know what they say, season. partner, no time like the present. Exactly, Aiden. And especially, especially coming in here, you've got all the momentum coming to the end of the second period. And if you can get a goal here, and you're only down one going into the third period, and this Villanova team looking a little gassed, 
It's definitely something you can look for. Contos cross ice for Price. Up top for Alley. Sends it to Price. Back up top for Alley. One of the few instances the Pages have been able to run their offense. Thomas, he takes the shot. That one's wide right. Loose puck, there's a scramble for it. And no icing called. Thomas chasing it down. 120 to go in the power play. 309 to go in the period. Alley for Thomas. Shade off the scale of Wildcat. Contos with it now. In between two Wildcats. Thomas took a lick from the back. Alley will track it down once more. One minute to go in the power play for the Patriots. There's ever time for, for them to capitalize. It's right now. Exactly. And then the Villanova Wildcats here are just working hard on this penalty kill. And something they've been doing all night. And here is just evident. And again, the Patriots just not able to connect passes through through the offensive end. And we saw that little bit, but nothing came of it. The shot was wide from Contos. As we see here now, we only got 30 seconds left in this power play. And, and Carroll tracking it down. It's Chapman back in. And so realistically here, if you're the Patriots, you got maybe two chances left, maybe three. 25 seconds on the power play for the Patriots. Time is fleeting. Chapman. Oh, he'll take it around the back side. Back up top for Alley. Looking. Fake the lead behind for Chapman. He's going to try to take it in, bring it around the back. Six seconds to go, five seconds. McGrath with it. Four, three, two, one. And that will end the power play opportunity. The Patriots cannot cash in. So the Wildcats back to even strength. McGrath flicks it around, all the way around for Chapman. And again and the for the Wildcats. Patriots, it just seems to be individual efforts there. There's one from Chapman three on the three-on-one. Three-on-one for one. the Wildcats. And well done by Willie there, able to intercept the pass. Right in the nick of time. Max Williams with a shot. And Sam McGrath coming out of it. Barrett had it for a split second, but got poked away. And in a lot of shots in this period for both teams, and we've only seen three uh, be on target, two for the Villanova Wildcats, one lone one, which of course was that goal for the Patriots. Willie tracking it down, and it looks like we're going to get a whistle here. With 103 to go in the second period, Patriots did finally. Uh, I'm gonna regret. I'm gonna regret this one, partner. Broke the ice. <laughs> Put them. <laughs> Wildcats lead it three to one. One one minute even to go now in the second period. Max Williams. Wildcats looking to get one more before the period breaks and a whistle. Offsides there, just sloppy on offense there on the fast break from number 15. Max Williams just got a little too far behind his guys and just going to get called for that one every time. 54.1 seconds to go. Again, a game day for the promotion for the fans. Tweet hashtag GMU Hockey on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter for a chance to win a free George Mason T-shirt. So here comes the faceoff collected by Alley. I'm going to send him right for Ellers. Thomas with it now. 42 seconds to go. Ellers is right behind him. Deflects it, but it's going to end up behind the net where no Patriots reside. So now the Wildcats may be looking for an opportunity before the end of the second period. A two-on-one. Thomas hot on his heels. Shot on the goal, and it's high. Hard off the back glass. Here comes another shot on the goal this time from Marikai, and it's wide. 19 seconds to go. And it looks like looks like Lucas Sharp lost his stick as the puck bounced over the top of the goal. Right on the doorstep are the Wildcats coming out of it as Alley. Seven seconds to go, six seconds. Maybe just looking to clear this. Four, three, two, one. And that will do it for the second period of action. Yeah, and Aiden, right at the tail end of that period there, you saw Max Campbell being able to move the stick in that right blocker to get in the way of that shot there. Could have been... Not a, not a dream scenario for the Villanova and the Wildcats to go in to the second intermission just coming off a goal after a rough period. But nonetheless, it will be 3-1 to one here as we conclude this second period. And the, and the George Mason Patriots have a lot to talk about in the locker room. Well, again, you have, like, night and day 
between yep. what we saw through the first period and a half and that last 10 minutes. It looked like an entirely different Patriot team. They were composed. They were able to set their offense, and ultimately they capitalized. It's going to need more of that for a full 20 minutes in the third period. And like you and I were talking about, anything can happen in sports. People still don't believe me on that whenever I tell it to them. But, but hey, another intermission here. Yep. And during intermission, feel free to visit the George Mason Team Store. Be sure to check out the Team Store for Mason hockey. Items are available online and at, and at home purchase. Purchases of Team Store items at home games are also discounted from online store prices. And right before we go to bake, a break in what you were talking about there, in night and day difference. And it is, I think it also comes down to causation doesn't always equal correlate or correlation correlation doesn't always equal causation, Aiden. But Fergus being in that 10-minute misconduct penalty, wearing the A for the George Mason Patriots, come back onto the ice, and that is when people started to really get back going, especially after that five-minute major boarding penalty. Kind of shot themselves in the foot, Aiden, at the end of that first period. So now, obviously, we got a whole different team ahead whole different team excuse me in this second period and now we go into the third period ready to get it done and courtesy of tim contos patriots 100 percent on shots on goal one shot on the goal in the second period one goal to be seen for yep. it as it stands currently still work to do as the wildcats lead the patriots three to one at the end of the second period we'll step aside and we come back we'll have what's sure to be an exciting end to this one it's the george mason patriots and the villanova wildcats this has been a presentation of college hockey
end okay. Softball on the other end. I don't know how long it goes. Well, hello and welcome back in for what's sure to be an exciting final period between the Villanova Wildcats and the George Mason Patriots. Partner, so it just seems like midway through the second period, someone just flipped a switch on that George Mason team. Exactly, Aiden. We keep harping on this drastic change from the Patriots, but again, I think it just comes down to two things. Effort and determination, Aiden, in the face of adversity. These Patriots have come out here and just been able to put another one on the board. we got still down to still a little bit of work to do, but Aiden, 20 minutes of ice time separates us from the end of this, ball, uh, end of this game. And we're just going to see what the Patriots are going to be able to do against this Wildcat side. That has been dominant thus far, except for those last couple minutes of that second period, starting to show that they are human. I mean, you talk about how much Villanova lived in Patriot territory as a whistle right off the bat. Looks like it's going to be offsides. Uh, no, nah, it's going to be icing. Oh, in. yeah, definitely. I misread that. And you talk about, like, how much Villanova has lived in Patriot territory. They still only have 16 shots on the goal. Exactly, Aiden. It, it, Only 16 shots. And exactly, they haven't been very potent in that attack, in that uh, offensive end, uh, Aiden, going through. I mean, they have scored the three goals off 16 shots on target. But that just speaks to Max Campbell's ability as a goaltender. And I think it also speaks to the interior defense of the Patriots because, yeah. I mean, the Patriots, they've been able to get a lot of stuff off the perimeter, but once it really gets into the meat of that Patriot defense, it's been relatively solid. Yeah. It's that bend, don't break mentality, Aiden. Speaking of bend, don't break, Ellers I'm going to come away with it here. McGrath shovels it for Barrett. Maybe an opportunity here for the Patriots. Gets bodied against the wall. Crashes into Morozov. And Nikita Morozov has just been excellent all night for the Wildcats. A. And you can see why he's wearing that A and why he's starting for this Villanova Wildcat team. As Alley dribbles it up to Contos. He's had the one goal so far. Shot and it's deflected. And a great save there by Fernandez. That was going top bins. Almost, def looks like he deflected it with the stick. Almost, like, yeah, it looks like almost he deflected it with the stick. Maybe he's, a, maybe he's of the force-sensitive type. <laughs> I think he, he might have got the, just the base part of his stick on that one. And it's a whistle. So a whistle there will blow play dead. Yep. 8.57 this to go in the third period. 18.57. 18.57. <laughs> Had a small technical issue. My mind was on that. Yep. Yeah. You get an offense. Excuse me. Uh, face off in the offensive end for the Patriots here. Price. Good win there. So Chapman wins it. Quick shot right away by Willie, and that one deflected high and out of play. Yep. I think that was actually deflected by number 14, Jude Buckholtz of the Patriots. You can see him kind of starting to apologize there. He was setting the screen in front of Hernandez, and I think he just got a stick on it trying to deflect it, but was clearly not the right course of action. The Patriots had what they wanted. Almost same, sh same sequence there as Chapman. Flips it high, and the Wildcats do come away with it. Nearly take out the official. Stolen away by Scharf. Yeah, I hope he has pads under the stripes. The scrum for a near side. Two Patriots collide into each other. It was Price and Buckholes. It was just a little bit of miscommunication down low for the Patriots. Maybe deprived them of a shot. Bring it back the other way. Is Gillifon gets taken out by cool, Willie. Just a great hit there by Willie. Showing off that intensity early in this third period. 
and just an excellent play there. Number 13 of the Villanova Wildcats, Gillifon, thought he was in on goal. Willie said, not in my house, son. So whistle 18-11 to go in the third period. The Wildcats still in control, 3-1. They'll have it in Patriot territory here. Wildcats looking to set their offense as that one, that pass from Williams maybe got deflected. Alley fighting for it just to the right of the goal. Looked like Pat Fergus is the one who rescued the puck. Going after it now is Nathan Benner. And partner, it looks like, oof, as Fergus just trucked Mikey Carroll against the, wa against the wall. And the Patriots showing a little bit more composure, Aiden, in this third period. Oh, well, that might be a little bit of an announcer. That one intercepted there. by Marikai. He takes the shot, and it's wide. Here comes another shot. This time it was from, and whistle. All right, to finish my thought, Aiden, before that sequence, they were showing a lot more composure, being able to move out of their own end and just kind of absorb that pressure being put on by the Wildcats. It's just right there, you saw them break a little bit, and you saw that pa errant pass come across the front of goal and just not what you want to see if you're wearing uh, yellow and green in this building. That was Michael Vogel on the shot there. Here comes the faceoff as Patriots trying to turn the tide on the Wildcats. Chapman tracks it down. Wanted to send it for Christian Barrett. Can the Patriot press get something going on offense? Chapman dribbles it off the wall and missed by Barrett. Oh, that was a beautiful pass there by Barrett between the legs. He just had nobody to pass it to, Aiden, across the front of goal. The Wildcats come away with it, and Barrett maybe trying to atone here. Turns and then flips it cross ice. Riccapullo tracks it down. Barrett bearing down. So Willie has it back at center ice. Chapman misses Contos. Contos, the scrum with Morozov. Loose puck, try, taking it around the back side. Going to send it up top for Chapman and whiffed on it badly there, did Chapman. Yep, just a, I, I, I'm not sure if you can totally attribute that to Chapman missing the pass there. I think it was a little bit of a, little bit of a misread there on offense from the Patriots, and Chapman just had to take the fall for him. Some nifty movement by Chapman, however. Taking it right back down the other way. 16 minutes to go in the third period. As Price trying to get it back for his Patriot brother and Chapman. This is it again. Willie got a piece of it. Reflects off the skate. Shot on goal. Deflected. Ty Eastman rejected by Max Campbell. And an excellent read there by Max Campbell just to get that right leg out be able to keep that one out of the goal as Price knocks it away Donahue run the point the Wildcats trying to get things set here Balzarati trying to take the shot strike that strike that got it into Gorolenkov his shot got deflected as around the right wing up top looked like it was a long range shot from Donahue but Nothing going. Chapman to Sharp right back to Chapman. As Chapman got spun around by Gilfalon. Now Fergus trying to make something happen. Stops, fires. Deflected, it looks like, by Kashiator. And that's been, the, that's been summed up the offense from the Patriots this quarter, Aiden, and kind of all night has been they've been able to get that counterattack breaks down the ice, but just as they get in the offensive, deep into the offensive zone and start to look like they're going to be dangerous, it's just the Villanova Wildcats either spill, just completely put it, snuff it out or they a poor pass and a little miscommunication just ends it by themselves. But nonetheless, it hasn't been a lot of fire coming from the Patriots thus far. Alley looking to chase it down, sends it around the left wing for Ellers. And he's got company. Through a couple of players, Fergus sends it left for McCulley. McCulley sends it around the left wing of the Wildcats. Tom Jack coming out with it. 
misses Max Williams, chasing it down is Alley. 13.55 to go in the third period. Some pleas for icing there, but it certainly came off number 21, Contos, across the middle of the ice. As Barrett looking to relieve... Look to relieve Max Williams of it, but nothing going. Barrett, he's going the other way. Takes the shot and deflected. Still loose. Another shot. No. Fernandez. Contos couldn't even get a chance at it. Just been money there from Fernandez. <laughs> Taking his shoulder up instead of getting a glove or a blocker on it. Just kind of moved his body out of the way. And just an excellent piece of goaltending there by number one in blue. As back-to-back -back shots from Max Williams, both well defended by Campbell. Yeah. And both teams getting a lot more busy on offense in this period, Aiden, as we oppose only three shots on goal in, in the second period. And now we've almost got five. 13 minutes to go in the third period. The Wildcats still lead 3-1. to one. Max Williams wants the shot. Willie's hounding him. And just covered there by Max C Campbell. Smart, smart heads-up play there by the goaltender. And I'm not sure if it's a complete role reversal from what we saw in the first period. Still, getting some decent looks are the Wildcats, but it looks like the Patriots have done a much better job of stemming their rhythm on offense. Exactly, and the Patriots have just been kind of a nuisance on offense, you know, or on defense, excuse me, for the Wildcats. It's just They haven't been able to really stop them and really keep them out of their own end, but they've done just enough to keep the puck out of the goal, and they haven't conceded since the first period, Aiden. Justin Cacciatore. That one high and deflected out. So we'll get another face off here. 12.45 to go. The Patriots big, big, I was about to say big win there, but the Wildcats able to keep it still in the uh, offensive end for a little bit. Price looked to get it, oof. And the Wildcat bench wanted tripping there on Buckholes, but no call coming. Yep. I think that was the right call there, Aiden. It was just a little unfortunate. Just incidental there contact. Yeah, just incidental contact. Not, not nothing much with that one. Racing down ice is James Davis. Haven't seen much of him tonight. As it gets sent all the way around, and a tough collision there between Willie and Andre Berglund. The fight for it as it gets flipped eventually out to Kashiator. Puck bangs off the back wall. As that one's fine, flying down. I can't, we didn't even have an angle on it as. <laughs> wow. Nearly taken out the official was Brendan Donahue. Yeah. Maybe he was going to show him what real tripping was, Aiden. <laughs> Looked like icing is the call there. Yep. Just able to switch the guys up. Smart play there. And just Aiden, it's so, so funny. We just, every, we were all looking this way because from our vantage point, you can't see the very bottom edge. And we just see, and everybody starts running the other way with no puck. And it just for us, it was a second of confusion there. But nonetheless, it will remain in the Mason end as it has done so much tonight. And we just see, hopefully, the uh, George Mason Patriots can win here as we have currently seven guys on the ice for the Patriots. There's a couple of them. Um, speaking with the officials, Buckholes, as well as Allie, looks like conversing with the officials. Oh. Still, they got, they still got six. Right? That's yeah, six. I count seven. Well, besides the ten. Well, oh, yeah. Tender. Yeah. So Allie's going to go off. That makes sense. He was just talking to the officiating crew on this near side. Not sure if you guys had a vantage point on that one. But here, a big face-off in the defensive end for number 10, Matt Price. Price, he's been decent as the Patriots finally control one. As controlled for a moment, Jude Buckles fleeting opportunities for the Patriots. Excellent piece of defending there by Chapman. A shot on the goal, and Villanova scores! Stepan Gorolenkov. And just all that hard work, Aiden, in the last two periods just came down to that right there. And just you, you finally win a, defend, uh, a 
excuse me, win a faceoff in your defensive zone and you're coming upfield and just that misstep by Buck Holtz and just gave number 10 of the Villanova Wildcats, Mikey Carroll, just a wide opening there. And then again, Chapman come all the way back to stop that. And then, of course, it spills a shot on Ke- uh, Ke- Chapman, excuse me, not Chapman. Oh, my goodness gracious, Aiden. Uh, Max Campbell, the goaltender, and then he just able to make a good save but spills it right in there and just a textbook goal for the Villanova Wildcats. So it was already a tall task for the Patriots to begin with coming into the third period, and courtesy of Gorolenkov just got much more difficult. Yep. That's taking it right away, and it just one of those kinds of nights for the Patriots. It seems like every time they manage to steal it back, there's a Wildcat lying in wait. Fergus to Thomas, now to Willie. Campbell, 18 Oof. saves on the night. It's a big hit there. And you Pat can... Fergus lay in the wood. Wildcats in transition. Shot on the goal, and another goal for the Wildcats this time. Tim Arena makes them pay. And just beautiful there in transition from Tim Arena to go five hole on Max Campbell. Max Campbell just didn't have the read there. Thought he was going to go off the off the, his right hand side, off the forehand and with the lefty and just put it right between the legs. And just a beautiful play there by number 14 in blue. And so 10.51 to go in the third period and the Wildcats start, almost poured it on. Two goals in what? A minute, minute and a half at most. Yep. And just the Patriots have done so, so hard, have worked so hard to keep the puck out of the net this far off this onslaught of the Villanova Wildcats. And you can just see here the wheels starting to come off here late in this third period. And the pressure of the Wildcats, you see not letting up. They're going at it again. Max Williams with the shot there. And I don't know if you consider that stopping the bleeding, but... Yeah, and you just got you just got to look at guys who have played significant minutes tonight. I mean, you just go through the list: number twenty-one, Tim Contos, Matt Price, Pat Fergus, Jude Buckholes. These guys have been out here all night, Aiden. Exceedingly long shifts, and you can just see it starting to come away. Contos, he's looking to make some shot on the goal, just wide. Just looked like that one was exactly what the Patriots needed right now. There's Aiden. another just... shot on the goal, right on the doorstep of the Wildcats. Ellers, he wants a shot instead. Deflected great defense. Whistle. I think and that's going to be a high Patriot. stick. Aiden. I think it might be a high stick. That was Christian Barrett. The one on the ice. And I think that's the right call, partner. I, I agree, Aiden. I missed it just for a second here. And, and that's going to be called on John Capula. Capulo, excuse me. And we did say, so if you mentioned, you added... GMU hockey during the first and second period you could win a free George Mason t-shirt we do have a winner t-shirt winner is Natalie Miller on Twitter and Instagram wanted to be thorough she is the winner again Natalie Miller the winner of a free George Mason t-shirt coming away with that prize today as we get set to go once again at 1222 Natalie on Twitter and on Instagram at Natalie, one, two, two, two. So 10 minutes to go in the third period. The Patriots just working for anything here. Just fighting for pride, Aiden. Allie to Thomas. Fergus hits the deck. Thomas outside to Allie, takes the shot and he scores! What a shot there, Aiden. Wow. Off the power play, Alley just had a shot from the point there and just had a little bit of a lucky deflection here through the five hole of Fernandez. And you know Fernandez has just got to be hitting himself on that one, Aiden. That was a little bit of a muffin there. Should have come away with that one, but Fernandez finally finally let something in. And Alley taking advantage of it as the Patriots move to 5-2 to two here. So Quinn Alley, the sophomore, scoping in there. Precision accuracy, Aiden. So the Patriots pull within three, 9.38 to go. Too little too, maybe too little too late, but nobody knows. Never. We got half a period yet, Aiden. We saw two goals in one minute thus far for the Wildcats. Let's see. Patriots might be able to get something done here. Got some momentum, and the aggressor right now is 
That one flipped well high by Willie, well high and well out. Yeah, gonna need a new puck after that shot. Call Area 51 and report that flying saucer. <laughs> So the reset for the faceoff again, and again, so maybe a little bit more momentum for the Patriots. They've been much more aggressive on offense these last few possessions. Exactly, and I mean, I, the, as I said earlier in the first period, Aiden, you just they just had to match the Villanova's intensity here, Aiden, and they have done just that in this late second period, and now into the third period, just conceding those two goals is just a momentum killer, and they're able to bring it back now, but still, as we said, Aiden, might be a little too, a little too late, but as a broken record we have said so many times tonight, anything can happen in the sport. Patrick Chapman, Price coming away with it. An opportunity here, Price, he takes the shot! And into the cupped left hand of Fernandez. Again, he's been shorthanded for the most part tonight. Yep. Just a textbook save there. Made it look easy with the, uh, with the glove. And Fernandez just, you can see the frustration on Price there. He thought he should have came away with that one. Just a poor shot off the right-hand side. Didn't get as much power on it as he would expect. As you see, Contos has a chance here to continue on this pressure from the Patriots and win uh, face off in the offensive end. A 52 to go. The Patriots trail 5-2. Contos cannot come away with it. Instead, it belongs to Gorolenkov. With it now. Beautiful with move it. there Eastman. by number 22, Aiden. Yeah, Eastman. Eastman coming away with it. Given, given number six, Balzarati a shot there. And just routine save for the 10-D number 32, Max Campbell. 8.39 to go. So another quick shot right off the bat, this time for Eastman. <laughs> and a collision between two Patriots. It looks like Alley is down. And a Wildcat sandwich there, Aiden. And Alley gets slow to get up, as you said. Just took it in the face from his own teammate there. Took it right up under the fishbowl. And Alley looks like he's just going to skate it off. Contos speaking with the official. With 8.25 to go in the third period. And pardon, you just look at the differential. Just 24 shots on the goal for the Wildcats to George Mason's 12. Yeah. And you're just looking in also, you got to see two goals off those 12 shots versus five off those 24. It just shows that Villanova has been way more potent in that offensive end. And just showing composure in front of goal. And we saw from the very from the get-go that first goal from Matt Balzerati. Is able to use his left hand and bring it down right in front of Campbell and slot it home. So the face off in the neutral zone. Patriots looking for something here. Fergus has it. Here comes the shot. And right again, directly, Hernandez, money again. Every time he saves it, Aiden, he just looks like he's late for something or he has something better to be doing. He just looks so casual between the pipes, Aiden. And just been excellent all night for the Villanova Wildcats. So the Patriots still with the faceoff in Wildcat turf. It's like they just lost track of it for a minute. Fergus with it. Looked like he wanted to flip it for Thomas. Golenkov sends it around. Here comes another shot. That one's deflected, I believe. Didn't catch that one, partner. Was that Willie or Fergus with the shot? It was Fergus Aiden off the left hand and just blocker save for number one, Fernandez. So 8.02 remaining. Again, the Wildcats with a 5-2 advantage came out guns a blazing in this third period. Exactly, and, and just and it shows here just that bend, don't break mentality that we were talking about earlier, especially if you come around. Wants the shot, got his got impeded. It looked like by Matt Arena. Willie shoots again. That one. Violent. Had a, yeah, had a lot on that one, and just unable to keep it, keep little it too on much, frame. A little too much mustard on it. Way too much. And this is where Wildcats, a lot of their success has come from, is pressuring the Patriots on offense, yeah. especially with the puck back in their own end. Exactly. And Buckholz just makes short work of that one as he's going to retire for somebody else to come on. Allie looking to chase down. Good to see him back in after a nasty collision. 
just uh, just mere minutes ago. Okay. Here comes a shot right into the chest, saving it on the rebound. Gets back his own shot, this Casciarotti. Here comes another shot. This time it's wide. Gilfalon, David Gilfalon on the shot. Casciarotti again. This one's wide right. That's a good hit there by Buckles to leave this up to Willie. And just still, the Patriots just unable to, been getting it out of their own, own end, but unable to get it into Villanova's. To staying in that neutral zone and just getting snuffed out by this Villanova offense. Cashitor wants a goal in the worst way possible. I believe he had like three shots all in that one possession. Ellers to Alley. Wants the shot, takes it, deflected left. As Contos came out of it, Ellers, great defense by Williams. He's got the opportunity, flips it, and what a deflection on the defense by Campbell. What a piece of goaltending there. Just really bailed out his defenseman, El Elhers there. Just completely mis misplayed that pass in the offensive end and then just completely Barrett, he just takes panicked. the shot. And but to finish our scene, just Max Campbell there ba bailing out his defense in there, Elhurst. This miscue in the offensive end just leads. And what they say, Aiden, in hockey, if you lose the puck like that, you're going to get punished unless Max Campbell's in the freaking goal, Aiden. This is an excellent play there. Max Williams, second on the Wildcats with 13 goals this season for, for Campbell. That's almost like staring down the barrel of a loaded gun. Quite literally, Aiden. He's been fantastic all year. So Patriots will get the face off on the Wildcat end. 5.53 to go, so. Just looking for anything to take away right now. Again, the Patriots have had a rough go of it this season. Only one victory at home. Fergus lost the handle on it, just missed it. Gorlenkov bringing it back the other way. Drives it off the wall. Fergus chases it down. Gorlankoff, and it's just a different speed setting than the rest of the guys out here just flying up and down the ice. Willie sends it for Thomas. Thomas wanted Fergus, but too many Wildcats. As Aaron Puck deflected by Campbell. Chapman. Up ahead for Buckholes, gets deflected, but Chapman... Eventually comes out of it between four Wildcats. Just been that kind of night. Rough collision by Chapman right in front of that no, right in front of that Villanova bench. Willie back on it. Send it right for Price. Price trying to make something happen. Trying to outrace the Wildcats up top and misses it. Willie wants the shot deflected by Fernandez. As a whistle blows. And just more the same, Aiden, that we've seen all night from both sides here as we coast into towards the end of this, this one. And just the Patriots getting a little more pressure in the offensive zone, but nothing has really come of it since that last goal from Ali over five minutes ago, Aiden. Well again, so, well, again, Villanova, Villanova, more so in this third period as the Patriots have turned it up on the offensive end. Still that bend, don't break. They're getting looks, but just, if you shoot that puck, it's got to find its way through a, through a lot of traffic. Exactly, Aiden, and Max Campbell, too, at the end of as it. As Alley with the shot, that one just wide right. And partner, talking about that traffic, it looks like the road to Washington, D.C. on a Monday morning. As here comes a shot. From Berkland going back the other way and saved routine play by Max Campbell. That routine from him. He's been money all night. 28, just unable to keep everything out of the goal. It's just when, when you absorb that many shots, Aiden, I mean, he has 23 saves tonight. It's fantastic, but just still 28 shots, five goals. It's just crazy. And that's on target, excuse me. So. And again, you have to wonder how different this game would be it, how different this game would be if the Patriots had Cameron Smith again, wasn't able to make it out for senior night, isn't here tonight. We'll be honored for the Patriots in their upcoming green and gold alumni game again coming up on March 20th 
at here at the Prince William Ice Center. More updates to follow, but, ben, but all benefits and proceeds will go to the MS Society of America. That's going to be offsides there. As a you know, whistle there, and you can just feel, <laughs> oh, and they're getting into it. This a late hit there after the play, just absolutely uncalled for there. And just and George Mason doesn't like any bit of that. As that was Nikita Morozov. <laughs> I got into it with McGrath as well as Willie, and you can just tension boiling over here at the Prince William Ice Center. And that's always been the frustration for me in college hockey and high school hockey and any anything like once you start once you get to the age of like 15, 16 you start to see tempers start to flare a little bit more. But everybody's wearing a cage or a fishbowl so you can't actually fight like they do in the National Hockey League age. So just kind of that just frustration pulls over and you can see a little tackle attempt. But no no true fight Aiden unfortunately. Well, with 3.52 to go here, it doesn't, uh, th I feel like the tension's still going to be there because no, west, no rest for the weary, for the Mason Patriots. Again, they already played last night, lost to Navy. 3.52 to go here. This one probably not going, not going to go in their favor tonight. And then tomorrow, they go up to Villanova and play them on their home ice. Yeah, still doesn't make too much sense to me, And Why are you going to have a series if you're going to split which side, which which uh, ice rink you're going to play at? But nonetheless, Aiden, Villanova, this is a big win to pick up here. Uh, George Mason, a mid-table team in the ECHA, is they're kind of head, head to the postseason, Aiden, as Villanova currently ranked 43 uh, George Mason at 55, and you just got to think, Aiden, what, what do they got on their mind going into the postseason, especially with teams like Navy and William Patterson just barely ahead of them in the playoff picture? Yeah, well, well again, you look at it, uh, an in-conference matchup, in-division matchup, so there's almost like that extra bit of tension there, and ultimately the Wildcats have gotten the better of the Patriots today. Obviously, Aiden, and you can just see as tempers begin to flare. That's normally that's normally uh, showing that you're doing something right if you're the Villanova Wildcats. And so some final discussion among the officials. It looks like Nikita Morozov will be charged with the major penalty, so he will... There's not even enough time left in the game for yeah. him to come back in, so he's done. So the start, the start, the first line defenseman will be out for the rest of the night. He'll be, he'll be getting his, uh, his, his orders quicker. I think the conversation is who's going to pick up a penalty for the George Mason uh, Patriots, and if it's going to be a misconduct or is it is going to be a five-minute uh, unsportsmanlike, which would, which I believe is ejection high school hockey. It don't. Uh, my, NC, uh, my college hockey knowledge is more towards the NCAA side as opposed to the ACHA. Not sure how those uh, misconduct penalties differ here. But you can see some officiating crews being talked behind the captains, and I'm just, I'm just not sure what that conversation's about here. I mean, I think it's pretty cut and dry there with the late hit from Mazarov. That's a five-minute major, and then you get a five-minute for tackling them. <laughs> so, as players on both sides leave the conversation. Well, it looks like Jack Marikai is going back to have a follow-up convo with the officials. Again, 3.52 to go. Villanova with the 5-2 lead. Can't imagine George Mason threatening to do much. And even though not the result they want tonight, Still a lot to be excited about about this George Mason hockey team. Again, only four seniors this year, so a lot of experience coming back next season. If you don't already, f follow George Mason on almost any social media platform at GMU Hockey on Facebook, GMU Ice Hockey on Twitter, GMU Ice Hockey on Instagram, and at GMU Hockey on G GMU Ice Hockey on TikTok. As we look to get underway here again, Aiden, we got 3.52 to go, three, three score game here in between, and it looks like everybody, there is five guys in yellow for, for George Mason, but, so this will be a power play sponsored by Glory Days Grill, Aiden, to end off this one. And this is not an ideal scenario for the Wildcats, as with the five-minute major, even if they do score, Aiden, it's still a power play. So this could be a pretty dicey four, last four minutes for the uh, Villanova Wildcats. But as we said earlier, uh, zero of one tonight at home for the uh, George, Mason George Mason Patriots in the power play, and they have not scored at home 
off the power play all year. So is maybe not as much of a tough task as it normally would be, but still the Patriots have a good opportunity. And as like you said earlier, uh, earlier Aiden, perfect is always pr- the pr- uh, present. What, what, what was it? I'm sorry, I'm no time it. like the present. Exactly, and you know? my apolo- I apologize. So Allie <laughs> chasing it down, three ten to go. Fergus right behind him. Thomas trying to come away with it. Price and Fergus both there for the Patriots. Eventually gets kicked to Alley. Patriots a chance to run their defense here. Alley, that's another shot on the goal. Going to get back his own miss, but a whistle. Just going to. A little bit of a goal interference there, Aiden. I think it is going to remain Mason Puck. And this is a George Mason team that also had five games canceled or postponed this season. Contrary to Villanova's one. So maybe also chalk up some missed opportunities for the Patriots to get better, put some more wins on the board. And as I was saying earlier, and you got to look toward, t- towards the future, Aiden. I mean, you guys like, got guys like Matt Price as a sophomore, and then obviously number 15, Stephen Thomas, hasn't had a lot. But you are going to retain a lot of these guys for next year. So Thomas with it, going to send it for Buckholes. Up top for Thomas, another shot by Alley. This one's wide. Under two and a half to go here, remaining in the Prince William Ice Center as that one's flicked all the way down into the Patriot land from Nathan Benner. It looks like Chapman will return to action for the Patriots. They're one... And again, Georgia Mason only one win at home this season, and it was over Lehigh, seven to four, not too long ago, back on January 28th. So Chapman with it now. 150 to go. It's been a light, late night here in Prince William Ice Center, Aiden. This is the life we chose, partner. <laughs> Definitely, I'm not complaining. As looking for it, and McGrath and. McGrath with the shot on the goal, saved by Fernandez. Fergus was looking for the turn and shoot. Spotted McGrath, thought he might have a better crack at it, but Fernandez, tried and true as he has been for the majority of tonight. Exactly, in 14 saves tonight off 16 shots, to let two in. And you just got to think, Aiden Fernandez, just textbook on that one. McGrath didn't do too much to test him. As referee nearly took a spill there. <laughs> and again, for both teams, it's just been a lot of great interior defense for the most part. Exactly, and I mean, it's just been a lot of like up and down, back and forth, except for those times that the Wildcats do control Allie. possession. Fergus, he wants the shot. Still maybe a chance here. Instead, just clearing it is Matt Arena. One twenty to go for the Patriots to make it. Look a little more respectable. And Villanova just clearing it each time. And each time they clear it, it's eaten up roughly four or five seconds. McGrath looking. Wants the opportunity. One minute to go. Back up top for Fergus. Alley, turn and shoot. No. Right on the doorstep of the Wildcats. Fergus Fern- comes away with it, 48 Fernandez seconds to go. Again, Alley, another shot. This one's high. Fernandez, just class right there. Aiden. Fergus chasing it down. He takes the shot. Alley whiffs on it, 30, under 40 seconds to go, 37 seconds. As Campbell going to leave it for Alley, 30 seconds to go. Graf Gra- just lo- spills that one. It's Tom Jack chasing it down. Uh, up to McGrath, Contos, maybe won his second goal on the evening. And a whistle. Looks like, what do you think, partner? Another goal interference? I think so, Aiden. I, th- I think that one, uh, that goal is a little messed up, Aiden. It just keeps coming off the track a little bit off that uh, left-hand side. but So 15.6 seconds to go. 15.6 seconds for the Patriots to... Right in the scoreboard, Chapman wanted the shot off the pass, but had to reposition himself. Contos 
Maybe with a crack at five seconds, four seconds. Knuckles, two seconds, one second, and they're not going to get a shot off. Yep. And just shows here in Villanova took care of business tonight and exactly what we expected them to do going in after that first period. And it looked rough, but the Patriots began to take it, to take it back. And then as we saw in that third period, finally they broke and those two goals led in within the minute. It's just a disappointing a disappointing result for the George Mason Patriots as they worked so hard to keep this game within striking distance and just in the end were unable to keep it keep keep the keep the keep the what's it called? What am I trying to say? Momentum going, yes, Aiden. So Villanova will snatch their twelfth victory of the season again, still in the ECHA, nipping at the heels of Navy and William Patterson. Meanwhile, George Mason will fall in their 14th loss of the season, still, end the, and they will end their season with only one victory at home. But again, do not disparage Patriot fans. I feel like there's a lot to look forward to it for this Patriot team. And again, you saw, there were elements that head coach Steve Hijack had to like. Uh, 100%, Aiden. I mean, we saw we saw glimpses of what this team could be, Aiden, but they were unable to keep it, keep it going for the 60 minutes. And again, last home game of the season, George Mason, their last five contests will be on the road. They'll play at Villanova, at Temple, and at Arizona State three times. Well, they'll play Division I Arizona State and then Division II Arizona State twice. But for now, that's all she wrote tonight from the Prince William Ice Center, your final, the Villanova Wildcats 5. The George Mason Patriots, too, and at the end of the day, this attributed to Villanova just had a lot more opportunities. 28 shots on the goal to George Mason's 18. Only a one-shot improvement over last night's outing against Navy. But still, not, not um, again, not to disparage, but Patriots still a lot to look forward to. Villanova also a lot to look forward to. The final 5-2, to two, the Wildcats take this one over the George Mason Patriots. I'm Aiden Butler. He's Ronan Haku. We had a fun time tonight. We hope you did as well. This has been a presentation of George Mason Hockey.